Hey guys, good afternoon. Good morning to some of you, wherever you are. Anyway, today we're going to do something kind of different. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me how to add an RSS feed to your website, or how do I get Google updates of knowing when Google is going to do an update on their algorithm. And the easiest way to do this, I've found, is to uh, create an alert for it. An alert basically uh, gives you, tells you what's going to happen and when it's going to happen, basically. Or not really when it happens, but I'm trying to set my picture here guy up a little bit better so you can see it. Okay. All right, so uh, you want to either do an alert, you want to have an RSS feed set up in your alerts, or you want to send your alerts to your email. You can do either one, but you can make the alert for whatever you want to make it for. So let's just get right into it. And uh, here you want to do is go to Google, of course, .com, forward slash alerts. And then hit enter, and you're going to see my alerts already set up. So if I'm looking for a Google algorithm change, I'm going to type that in the heading here. And that's what's going to come up. That's what the alert is going to create for. I need a good, see I did a Google algorithm change, a Google alert, Moz, Whiteboard Friday. This is a really good one because these people here do a lot of, uh, Moz does a lot of really good content. And I like to stay up on what they're doing because they're, they're very, very thorough with their teachings. Then I've done one for SEO news and then SEO updates. I get these sent all to my email, but I'm going to show you a way you can create an RSS feed and you can put it on your website at the same time. It's really cool, and uh, if you want to put an RSS feed, I'm going to show you exactly how to put the RSS feed on your website, on your back end, and WordPress. Uh, if you have something other than WordPress, uh, you might have to Google it and learn how to do it because I'm not familiar with anything but WordPress right now. It's the only thing I'm going to focus on. Let's just put it that way. So here we go. So here's your Google algorithm change and say that's what you're looking for. Let's just say you want to look, start an RSS feed for having SEO news added to your website. So here's the Google, this, you type in SEO news. Here's what's going to come up. It's going to show you like everything that's going on. Like this is search engine journal. This one here is uh, Soompi, whoever the hell that is. Whatever, but... The, the way to get rid of these guys here is I'll show you in a minute, but you're looking for like Google Global SEO Financial Advisors. We're really not looking for that. Uh, here's a, uh, uh, a hosting company. I don't know what that's for. But some, a lot of these, see this might not be looking, might be not what you're looking for, but if you want to just tip, if that's not it, just type go to Google Updates or something like that, SEO Updates, and see what that brings up. That brings up Google algorithm explained. Uh, there, of course, there's obviously news in there of everything. But let me show you here. When you type in, say you want SEO news and you want the uh, the news on your website. So we're going to go Google. Right here's the alert. We can create that if we want or we can go into the options and change stuff. So here's where you can change which, how you want it to happen and how you want it to come. Do you want to do it as it happens? That's up to you. I usually do it once a day. You can do it once a week. If you're doing a uh, an RSS feed, it's probably better to do it once a day. Because if you do it as it happens, you're the people, the most of the people aren't going to get to see a lot of it because it's you put five posts on there, and this could happen. You can get 50 posts a day on this, just on SEO news. Because as people are out there creating blogs and stuff, as they happen, as they if they, the titles have SEO news in them anywhere, this is going to pull this, this alert is going to pick that up and it's going to send it to you through an RSS feed or through your Gmail account. So I just do once a day. That's, in my opinion, is the best. You can do it however you want. Now, if you just want to fine tune this to just Google News, you just go to News right here. You click on News. If you want to do all of them, or anything, you click on automatic. It'll pick them all up. That's how you fine-tune this to where you're looking for. So if you only want to do just blog posts, you do blog posts. 
There's none going on for blog posts right now for SEO news. You can do videos. Anybody that's doing videos, there's no videos. Anybody that's creating a book, making a discussion, or talking about financing. See if they're talking about financing, it'll pop up. Or if you just want to focus on just news and news alone, you click on that. Or if you click on all of them, it'll do them all. Or automatic. I usually leave it on automatic just because I have everything sent to my Gmail. I don't do the RSS feeds. I'm just showing you how to. You want everything in English, obviously, in the United States. Uh, if you're outside the United States, you might want to do these. Uh, pick out whatever you're in. Uh, any region, obviously, you want to go to the United States. So anything that's happening within the U.S., you want to go here. If you want it outside the U.S., go out there. And you want to choose only the best results. If you choose all the results, you're going to get everything. If you choose only the best that's related to that search term or that alert term, then you're going to get the top rated stuff. Then, I mean, obviously, this says SEO in it, whatever. There's nothing you can do about some of this stuff. It is what it is. Then, here's where you can change where you want it sent to. You can create a, you can send it to any Gmail account that is associated with your Gmail. That's associated with your account right here. So this is my Google account associated with my Gmail right there. Or you can click on RSS feed. So if you click on Gmail and you click create alert, now that's going to send that alert to your Gmail account. So any news coming out once a day is going to be sent to your Gmail account. However, if you change this to RSS feed and hit update, it's going to have this little icon pop up here with the RSS feed. Now, here's where we, this is the, the tricky part. It's not really hard to do, but you want to right click on that, copy link address. Now you want to take this link address, now that you have that, the link address for SEO News, you want to go back over here, go into your website. You know, here's mine, Daniel Denbo SEO. You want to click on Appearance. Click on widgets and then it's going to bring you up to your widgets page. Now you can decide where you want these at. You can put them in this, uh, you can have a sidebar here that has a blog sidebar on it. Like if you want to, you can put a sidebar up here. I don't have any sidebars. This is just a dead page. I'm just showing you. So you can put it down here in the footer, you can put it over here in your sidebar. But here's your RSS feed. Here's all your widgets. These are all the available widgets that you can use. So I use the Aveda theme. And I use the DB theme. Those are the two main themes that I use. Aveda is good and DB is both good. But you just pick one you like. Here's the RSS feed that I've added to the website. So you can add this. And if you, I'll show you, if you the reasons why if you want to. And here's the one it comes with. This one here it just comes with. This is the Aveda theme comes with this RSS feed built into it. And I'll show you what it looks like. You just drag it up here. Let's say you want to put it in the footer. So we put it in the footer. We're going to take the URL feed. Remember right there is the URL. We're going to copy the link address. Put the link address right there. So there's your URL field. So we're going to type in Google News Updates. There's our headline. How many title, how many pages do you want to display? Or how many items would you want this to be on the page? So if you only do one of these, that's fine. But say you want to go back in here and do all of these, where well, you create a news feed for all of them, and you can just do one a day or two a day and then add another page here. So if you do that, you close that. You can put another one right below it and do the same thing and have so once you create this next one, you put another one here, you click right click, get that RSS feed, put another one of these down here below this, and do the same thing. So if you take this RSS feed wherever it went, right here, and it's open it right here in the footer widget. So that's what I should have just done. Been a little quicker. So it opens it right here in the footer widget. You type your URL again, but you remember you're gonna get your URL from here which is going to be from here, you go to this RSS feed, and that's the second one. So if you want to Google algorithm change, you click on here, you copy this link address, and you're going to take that link address and put it in here. You leave this blank. So people don't know that you're, that 
you just basically want them to know that the uh, the page is going to say Google News Updates. That's all they're going to see. And if you put another title here, if you put another title there, they're going to see you have Google News Updates and Google algorithm changes. You can do that if you want. Now, just to show you what that looks like, we'll just hit refresh. And we'll scroll down here a little bit. All right, here's the first one. See, there's already two of them popped up. Google New Updates. And here's the Google algorithm change. Well, actually, maybe it did. It already put it in there for you. I don't know why it did. Because that's my algorithm update. That's fine. You can, I guess you could leave it like that. You can change the algorithm right there. You can change the name of it if you want. That's what it is. Okay. So you can change the name of this if you want. You can put a display the item content. Or you can do whatever you want in this situation. So instead of it, you can change the name. So if you wanted to say Google Feeds instead of Google Algorithm Updates, like I have it right here, that should change the Google Feeds now. See, it changed the Google Feeds. So if whatever you want it to say, you just type it in here. If you don't want it to say anything, you want it to say whatever your Google Alert is, like Google algorithm change, you just leave it there. You take that, hit save, so you don't have anything there now. Now it's going to refer back to this. If you hit refresh, it's going to say Google algorithm change right here now. Google alert, Google algorithm change. So if you want to get rid of the Google alert, that right there, because that's just an alert that shows it's an alert, you're going to have to type in your title like we did on the other one. See, we type Google News Updates, Google News Updates. Now, here's the second one, and this is the uh, the one I use all the time. It's better. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You can choose any of these RSS feeds you feel like choosing. But what I do is I go over here to uh, my plugins, click on plugins, type in RSS feed. As you can see, I've already done it. And here's my feeds, but if this is this is already in mine, so you don't want to do that. So you want to click on Add New first, then type in RSS feed. RSS feed. And then okay. Now here's going to pop up a whole bunch of them. This is the one that I use. I use the uh, this one right here, RSS Aggregator by Feedsy. The reason I use it is because you can change the stuff you want in there you can choose any of these I mean any of these aggregators you can go in and change a lot of stuff and a lot of them are compatible with versions of uh, the version that I'm using just try different ones and the reason is I'll show you right here it is see it right here here's all your categories you can go in here and so once you get it updated you have to click activate okay you can change pretty much anything you want to change in here There's your feed. Now, to go in here and change this, let me go back to uh, appearance, widgets. Okay, so instead of that, let's just say we want to put a widget over here in this side sliding sidebar number one. So we're going to go down here, find the feeding feedsy frenzy. It's already in here, remember, because this is a, a widget now, because we downloaded it to here. Once you click activate, it activates it, puts it over here. Then it becomes a widget, uh, an accessible, uh, available widget that you can use in any of your little tabs over here. So you click on this, click on. You can put it in a sidebar, you can put it in a footer, or we can put it in a sliding sidebar that we wanted to do. It saves you from dragging it over there. Click add, it brings it up over here. Now look, here's where you can change everything. The reason I like this is because you can go in here and change. Here's your URL feed. You put your URL feed in there. You can time. If you want a hundred displays, you can put a hundred in there and it'll display them all. You can tell how often, how often you want this thing to recache itself. If you want to do it every hour, it'll do it every hour. If you want to do it every three hours, every twelve hours, whatever. You can do it every twelve hours, or you can do it once a day. However you want to do it. So remember, you want to go over here, get your alert, get your thing, get your copy your link address. Go back here, 
put it right here. The feed URL comma. It's got to be correct. If it's not correct, it's not going to work. Paste it in there. There it is. Now, I want to do, let's just do three for now. Now, these are not going to show up because it takes them a little while to populate. So if I put 12 hours, it won't show up for 12 hours. So if I put an hour, it's not going to show up for an hour. You can go in here and change, you can change how you want this to open. I usually do blank. So whenever the, the feed opens up into a, whenever you see the feed, I'll show you in a minute and you open it, it leaves your page open and it opens their link into another page just in case somebody wants to go read it. So your link is still sitting there. Do you want to make it a no follow link? Yes or no? Do you want to follow these links? Are these, are these going to be associated with your website so you can kind of use them as a backlink or not? Or a, you know, a link from your website to another page? That's fine. Uh, you can trim the titles of the X characters at A value with a remove the zero title. You can do all kind of different stuff on this here. You just learn, go through here and just mess with these and see what changes as you do them. So now we go over here and hit refresh again. Now this is the footer. Remember this is the footer. And here's our one we just did. Here's the one we just put in here. See here's the two footers. And here's the sidebar. The reason I put it in a sidebar, if you remember, this is a sliding sidebar widget. So if you wanted to put a sliding sidebar in here, you can obviously do so. But here's the sidebar widget. So if you want to click over here and you click on this link, this is going to open up in a new tab because we selected blank. So let's try it. There it is. There's our old tab, same one. And here is the link of this page that's, that wrote the article. So that kind of gives you a backlink to these people, or not a backlink, but a, a link out to their website, which is probably a really good website. If you can see, let's go see where they're at. Mozbar. Let's open up the Mozbar and see where they're at here and see what kind of a uh, authority this page actually has. Okay. So now we'll go back here. Our Nozbar no, our is activated. So let's go see what I see. They got a strong DA74. That's domain authority. It's a 74. Page authority is a 32. So this page has a pretty good strong link. And here's the analysis. So you're looking at, they've got a pretty good keyword setup basic setup here so I mean everything's looking pretty good on their page they have a lot of alt text they're using uh, yeah that's fine they got a slow load speed but whatever it's still showing he's got some strong link metrics here so you can you got a good strong page authority and a good strong domain authority so it's not going to hurt to follow these guys So it kind of gives you an idea. This is a pretty good, see it's got a 2% spam score. That's really good. So anyway, you get an idea of how that works. Here's your, how you can do this right here. <clears throat> then the other way, remember the other way, is we can go in here and change this. We can open this back up, click edit, and click it back to the your, your right here, like I always have. That's where I always send mine to, so I can review them in my email. So if I go into my email account, I just type in Google, you'll see them. I get them in here every day. Every single day, I get a whole bunch of them. Takes a second to load. While that's loading, we're going to go back over here and we'll take this out. So if you ever want to get rid of something in here, all you got to do is just drag it off. It takes it out. Remember our footer? Get it out of there. Goodbye. Get it out of there. Goodbye. Then if you ever want to put something back, you can just click on this and put it wherever you want it. So just click on it, whatever you want to put it, put it there, cancel it, okay. So now if we hit refresh on this page, these are gone. See, so everything's gone. All right, here we go. Google Alert, there's another one. So this, is, this one here is under SEO updates. Here's one under Google algorithm change. Let's go see what it says. Google algorithms explained by HackRead. So I just put them in here so I can go in here and read them myself. So if we go in here and click on one of these and just read it and see what it says. That's that one we were looking at a minute ago. So, I mean, that's the one I already got right here. 
it's in my email every day and uh, you can go in here and look if you just type in if I just go in here and type in Google Alerts uh, if I can type and just hit enter you'll see them all pop up here's all the Google Alerts I get all the time you know some of these times I have time to read them some of them I don't and the whiteboard ones are the ones I like. I like to read the whiteboard ones. So if we put in here hyphen white whiteboard <clears throat> and see right here this Moz Friday, uh, Moz Whiteboard Friday. These are the really good ones I like to read. Intro to Python. So if you go in here and read this or look at it, it's probably a video. It's usually a video. This intro to Python. This is probably a new algorithm that Google came out with. Python is a, a programming language that helps you uncover incredible SEO insights. So this is an, another one. If you go in here and watch this intro to Python, it's probably really interesting. And there's usually some pretty cool people that teach. They explain stuff really well. And they usually have uh, little things you can follow along. So this is really, uh, it's very good to watch these. I mean, that's why I always put these in here. And it would be smart for you to get one yourself. So we're going to go ahead and delete that one there. There's the one you need to get. Look for Moz. If you create an alert of anything, I would create this for myself. Moz Whiteboard Friday. This is very, very good to have. They always come out with great content. They always have good uh, teachers and people explain it to you. And they do very good. And it's very, and it's very detailed. Anyway, you have to go watch that yourself. But again, there you go. There is how you know how to create a, a create a new alert. You get free updates, create an RSS feed for your website. So once you get your RSS feed on your website, you've got good outlinks going to your site to all these popular pages. It helps your link juice going in and out, whatever. Anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And uh, other than that, have a great day and good luck.